I'd rather be given all the information and, and me be the filter as opposed to kind of getting in the box and, and being surprised. You know, I think a lot of it comes back to I got to find a way to tie this into what I do well. I don't want to go up and I know DeGrom's got a good riding four seamer at the top. But, you know, I don't want to go chase that because I know that's, you know, not a spot where I thrive. But you got to be aware of, of what they got. So, you know, example of being DeGrom, you know, you want him down in the zone, but swinging on top of it, you know, trying to borderline miss the ball on top. And the info as far as that, you, you go and you check out the spin rate, and the vertical break. And I've kind of uh, feel like I've gotten a good grasp on the numbers and where I got to swing on guys four seamers because I mean that's you know that's that's the new big thing is is the riding heater so you know I've, I've started to dial in what seventeen inches of vert looks like compared to twenty twenty one and and you know go into the box knowing that so you can kind of pick a spot based off where it is. That's that's crazy to hear that you're you're effectively changing your swing path based on a guy's, you know, vertical or horizontal break. That's, uh, that's something we didn't really see a handful of years ago. 